This is the World of Sports Network presentation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's the G to the U to the R to the U. So today we're going to talk about the New York Jets 2020 draft pick breakdown. So we're going to start from the T.O.P. Joe Douglas and company, man, and Adam Gates. Actually, tell the truth, they had an outstanding draft pick. I mean, they hit on exactly the needs they they, uh, uh, they needed, and they got the talent, and they got the players to equalize those needs. They had a, a superb, superb draft, man. Kudos to Joe Douglas and Adam Gates. So with the first pick, with the tenth of, I mean, the eleventh overall pick, there was a big need of offensive line, so they went with Louisville left tackle Mikael Becton, big old Mount Becton. Let me all show you all a couple of highlights on how Mac, I mean. Makai Becton is going to be the franchise protector of their quarterback for the next 10 to hopefully 15 years. Let's roll the tape on Makai Becton. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the New York Jets uh, with, and Joe Douglas did an outstanding job with the draft class. They really, really did. With the first round with the 11th pick, they picked offensive tackle Mikael Becton out of Louisville. Obviously, Sam Donald needed some protection. The Jets' offensive line was in disarray, and you can't go wrong by getting Mount Becton out here, man. This guy is massive. Uh, he's going to uh, basically protect the blind side and also help open holes for Le'Veon Bell. So the pickup and the drafting of, of Mount Becton is going to solve multiple things. And I'm very, very sure Le'Veon Bell and Sam Donald are very happy with this pick. Man, just look at this dude, man. Look at this dude. This dude just handled grown-ass man like they just child out there on the field. Grown-ass man like child, man. Makes no sense, man. I love that pick. Mount Beckton was one of my favorite offensive linemen in this entire draft. Good job, Joe Douglas and Adam Gates and company. In the second round, the Jets went with wide receiver Denzel Mims. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Big 12, Denzel Mims, he's one of those guys that makes, um, that has beautiful catch radius, you know. He could, you, the quarterback, it gives the quarterback a ba a basically room for error because he can go and make those spectacular catches and he's a big time red zone threat. So here, I'm going to show you a couple of highlights on how Denzel Mims is really going to be one of Sam Donald's favorite moving forward. So in the second round, the New York Jets went with wide receiver from Baylor, Denzel Mims. Uh, obviously, they needed some weapons with um, Robbie Anderson leaving. The Jets needed some more weapons um, for Sam Donald. Uh, and then they want to go get that with big time catch radius guy Denzel Mims. This guy's gonna make Sam Donald's job good, look easy. He got he could go vertical and he's physical enough and he's strong and he has good route running skills. He have excellent hands, so he's gonna. This is what one of those guys that make quarterback quarterback look good because as a quarterback you could throw a ball a little bit higher than normal and this guy's gonna catch the ball and this guy's gonna make one of those highlight plays. He's gonna be an ESPN guy when to happen basically every Sunday because he has that type of ability. Um, great pickup in the second round. This dude had first round ability, but the Jets and Doe Douglas were able to get him in the second round in this deep, deep wide receiver class. I mean, as you can tell, he's going to be a monster in the red zone. In the third round, the Jets um, started looking at the secondary on the defensive side of the ball. They went with Cal Safety Ashton Davis. I love this kid, man. You talking about a a, a, a kid like a uh, he remind me of Makai Hyde, man. This dude just knows football. He knows routes recognition. He knows he has high football IQ, and the game slows down for him. You could tell he plays in a different speed because he knows what he's doing. So I'm gonna show you all a couple of highlights on how Ashton Davis is gonna fit into the New York Jets defensive secondary. Third round, the Jets picked up Quam safety from Cal Ashton Davis. This dude right here, man, like this, I, I love watching this film. This is the type of dude I just like. Like the game, the game slows down for him. The game is easy. He's really, really, when I looked at him, he reminded me of Michael Hyde. Very similar. Those guys, like they could process the plays in front of him 
pre-snap and and, and and it seemed like they're always at the right place at the right time every single time he, he this coach is gonna love this guy he's a locker room guy he's an on the field off the field type of guy high IQ high energy accountability type of guy beautiful pick for the um, for the Jets over there to lead the secondary uh, and safety Ashton Davis out of Cal the second of the third round pick, the Jets went or uh, stayed on the defensive side and got edge rusher Jabari uh, Zunigov out of Florida with the third round pick. And in the fourth round pick, the Jets stayed in Florida uh, by picking up line, I mean running back LaMichael Pirine. Uh, Pirine added more depth as far as the backfield to help um, Le'Veon Bell out there. And also in another fourth round pick was quarterback James Morgan for FIU with um, Cameron Clark from Charlotte. One of my favorite pick of the whole draft, I believe, is the fifth round pick. The Jets might have, the Jets might have one of the steals and cornerback Bryce Hall, who I believe pound for pound with everything said and done might have been the best cornerback with, before he got injured. So I'm going to show you all a couple of highlights. Man, Bryce Hall is who I define as the next Darrell Revis. So y'all roll the tape on cornerback Bryce Hall out of UVA. The fifth round, the Jets might have one of the steals of the draft and cornerback um, Bryce Hall from UVA. Bryce Hall, without the injury, would have probably been a first round pick. I would have been definitely a top three cornerback pick in this draft if he didn't have gotten hurt um, in his last year versus the Miami Hurricanes. This dude is a complete corner. You're talking about a guy that could come and stop the run, a guy that I could bring on a blitz, the guy that I could put in the island, the guy that, I mean, he just does it all technically sound. Uh, I mean, I just can't wait to show, for, I can't wait for this guy. I'm excited about his potential, man. Uh, when I mean a complete corner, I consider him. Uh, um, a Darrell Rivers. It's kind of appropriate. He's going to be in the Jets, and I think he got Darrell Rivers type ability. Bryce Hall from the University of Virginia, fifth round pick, cornerback, the Jets, and Joe Douglas absolutely got it still. This one right here was what we call a highway robbery. Y'all know the drill. Like this, love this, share this, and I am out.